With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. If we talk about this question, in this question we are asked that what are the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Name some organisms that use the anaerobic mode of respiration, right? So here we first have to differentiate between aerobic respiration, right? Aerobic respiration and the anaerobic respiration right and the anaerobic respiration right now if we discuss the very first point of difference between both of them right so the first point of difference is that the aerobic respiration as the name suggests aerobic so this takes place in presence of oxygen right oxygen is present right in case of aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration takes place in absence of oxygen right uh, oxygen is absent right now the second point of difference is that uh, in case of the aerobic respiration right the food is completely broken down right the food is completely broken down right it's completely broken down whereas in case of the anaerobic respiration the food is partially break broke down right food is partially broken down right food is partially broken down now if we talk about the third point of difference so in aerobic respiration right if we talk about the aerobic respiration so the uh, when the pyruvate right when the uh, pyruvate breaks down right so the pyruvate when the pyruvate breaks down so the end product produced right the end product produced in case of the aerobic respiration is basically the carbon dioxide water and 38 molecules of ATP or the energy right whereas in case of the anaerobic respiration right when the pyruvate is broken down right when the pyruvate breaks down right then the end product produced is uh, is carbon dioxide uh, is carbon dioxide right and ethanol right is carbon dioxide ethanol and the two molecules of ATP in case of the in case of the yeast right in case of the yeast whereas whereas when the py whereas when the pyruvate breaks down right when the pyruvate breaks down in the muscle cells right it forms the lactic acid right it forms the lactic acid right and it forms the lactic acid and two molecules of ATP in case of the muscle cells right in case of the muscle cells when the uh, uh, breakdown or the anaerobic respiration takes place in case of in the muscle cells right now the last point of difference that we can take here is the example right so before example we can see here that in case of the aerobic respiration the energy the molecules of ATP release or the energy released is high right energy released in case of the aerobic respiration is very high but in case of the anaerobic respiration the energy released is very less just two molecules of ATP right so if we talk about the um, some of the organisms that basically uses the anaerobic mode of respiration are as we have seen here one is the yeast 
right we can see the process of anaerobic mode of respiration in case of the yeast and bacteria right it is sometimes also seen in case of the uh, in case of the other animals right in the muscle tissue at the time or uh, uh, in the muscle tissue of certain animals where at the time of rigorous exercise or running right so in the muscles of certain animals this is this can also be seen right so this is the complete difference between aerobic and anaerobic mode of respiration right for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today